Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Viscounts of the West Kingdom with the Tome Saga expansion, making it a cooperative game. I'm playing a two-player game today with Little Glass Marty, where the Overlord is going to be trying to get his nefarious workers out onto the board and essentially to the centre of the castle, usually where you want to be to get the centre of the castle card and the points and the glory and all of that, but if the Overlord manages to do it, we lose. He's going to be putting workers everywhere, and in this scenario, we get to put workers out onto the map as well as the castle, uh, and hopefully we can defeat this overlord. Before we get started, there is a handheld and a static camera. You can switch between those in the description. Hi, static cameras. Uh, there is a Patreon if you'd like to help me keep making playthroughs. It's patreon.com forward slash slickerdrips. Massive thanks to everyone that does that already. You help keep playthroughs coming and uh, vote on the playthroughs and join the Discord and all of that lovely stuff. And we can make more things. Uh, and there is a Klingon subtitle channel. Uh, I've moved the central board. I wish I hadn't done that. And uh, you can uh, turn that on and you'll be notified of any mistakes I might have made. Smooth. So we find ourselves in pretty much the same state you would in a multiplayer game, apart from... We have reference cards. In a four-player game, each person would have one of these. In a two-player game, we have to double up. So we've got two reference cards, but the only thing that matters is we've got an extra one kind of tucked underneath there. That means if any player takes a manuscript of these colours, I will get the, one of these resources. We each got to pick a starting townsfolk and a starting card that gave us a load of resources. Mine has given me a ton of money. And the Overlord is out on the board. The card that no one took is where he starts. And I'm playing on easy difficulty today because, historically, I've not done very well against the Overlord. Uh, so we'll see how I get on uh, today. We drew one extra player card and put one Overlord worker in that numbered location. If you are completely new to Viscounts of the West Kingdom, by the way, I will explain everything that I'm doing. And I also did a solo playthrough if you'd like to see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's do this. So I'm the start player, I'm going first. I have three cards in my hand. I need to choose one of these cards. And what goes into my decision is the effect that the card has. Two of these cards have no effect. The lender has an effect when she is discarded, basically. Uh, you will play cards in here one by one and they will shuffle along turn by turn. And when they shuffle off, then that's when that effect will occur. It will let me flip a debt or a deed. So deeds, when they are flipped, they're worth one point before. When they're flipped, they're worth three points. Debts, before they are flipped, they're worth minus two points. And when they are flipped, you grab a resource, which is what I've done and why I've started off with an extra uh, stone. Hopefully, I'm going to try and get a building out. So that's one thing to think about. Another is the symbols on the card. There are main actions in the game that are all boosted by how many of the particular symbol of that action you have out on your player board, further boosted by paying the relevant resource. So if I want to do some building, I might want to think about putting a laborer out there. But I think I want to try and start out doing some building. We'll see how that goes. So I am going to grab my laborer. Uh, the two on here tells me how many spaces my Viscount is going to move. So I can move along kind of this bridge. So one space, I can move down here for one space. I want to get into this section and do some building. So one, two. Now I can choose to pay the cost on the townsfolk that's in this section. To discard that townsfolk, I will get to do this special ability, which is rearrange the cards on my player board. Not much use when there's only one card there. Uh, but also, I will get to use the symbols of this person. Since I've got so much money, I think I'm going to use the architect's symbols. So I get one building symbol there for one coin. I have one here, one here. So that's three in total so far. So I could build one of my little buildings here. You know, I think I am going to go cheap. So I can choose any of these buildings, and they will have an effect for the rest of the game for me. So whenever I recruit someone, which I get to do uh, towards the end of my turn, I will get to discard a card from my hand, give me a bit more control over the cards I have, get rid of ones that I don't want to play. Uh, whenever there is a collision, which we'll see later, I'm sure, uh, if I have no criminal symbols on my board, I gain a virtue, which could be nice. Uh, or I can increase my hand size to four and give me some control in that way. I think, yeah, hand size of four is what I would like the most. So I've got my three symbols. That's let me build this building for three building symbols. And I can place it in the area that I'm in to either get a gold, which would help me to do a castle action, or I could recruit anyone from the board for free, which is what I'm going to do. I do want to do some building. I want this artisan. He will help me do merchant actions as well. Or there's this artist, which can help me do the castle action, 
and will let me spend gold. You know, you can spend these resources for one extra symbol of that action. The artist, while she is in my player area, would let me treat gold as two extra symbols for this. I want both of them. But I'm going to go for artisan. Yes, I'm going to try artisan. So he goes into my discard pile. I get to discard a card from my hand. I'm going to discard the lender, I think. I do want to flip deeds and debts, but not just yet. So I've done my action. I can now recruit the townsfolk that is in the region that I'm in. See, it's all divided into separate boards. Uh, so I could recruit this scoundrel for just one money. I would get to discard another card from my hand. Uh, but basically, a, a criminal symbol here counts as any symbol. But whenever you play a criminal symbol, you have to move your corruption marker forwards. I'm going to go for it. Let's see how this goes. Let's be a little bit corrupt. So that's going to be a coin to recruit her. And I discard a card from my hand to do that. So I'm going to get to draw four brand new cards, basically in decreasing the amount of time until I get to shuffle my new cards back into my deck. And that's what comes next. Has there been a collision? Have uh, these two markers collided? No. Then draw back up. So I need four new cards because my hand limit has been increased. And we see my extra starting card realized I kind of specifically catered this uh, player area to have space for four cards for the static camera. Okay, a bit of rearranging the space on the static cam, but here we go. This is uh, my extra starting card, Lothair, who gives me a merchant symbol that I'm not that excited about, but gives me one of each resource that I am more excited about. So that's the choice I'm going to have next on my turn. For doing a building action or a merchant action, I get to remove an overlord worker from where I am. At this stage, there isn't an overlord worker anywhere. I just realized my overview cards are the wrong way up. This one was supposed to be on top for what I want to try and do. So I want to try and be the builder. Uh, we're probably going to have to try and do some castling as well. But when I do a build action, I can remove an overlord worker from where I am, or I can put one of my workers out where I am, which is basically going to prevent overlord workers going out temporarily. Uh, we want overlord workers removed. We want ours put out there blocking them. And you'll see that as we go. So now at the end of my turn, you can see this uh, This goes over. It would line up nicely if you weren't arranging things so they, look, uh, so they can cram into the camera. But uh, now you can see that it's the Overlord's turn. At the end of each player's turn, the Overlord will have a turn. Uh, the Overlord moves clockwise on the outside of the main path of the board. He gets knocked over slightly. Uh, but uh, the number of spaces he moves is turned by the townsfolk that is there. So I could have taken this townsfolk to try and make him move a different amount. He's going to move one two spaces and then based on the state of the space that he's on uh, he will take an action if there is a player worker there or more then he will remove one player worker and give it back to that player if there are no workers here which there aren't he will place an overlord worker at this location if there's already one or more overlord workers there then he gets to dismiss the townsfolk cards that's here and based on the effect he will get to do something special usually putting out more overlord workers so that's all he does at the moment and if you've played uh, Viscounts before and you're familiar with the way the castle works, it's basically a similar thing that if there are three of his workers in a particular space, he moves one to the left, one to the right, and one forward. And if there are already workers forward, then they get to jump further and further. And if uh, he gets one in the center of the castle, we lose. So we don't want that to happen. We want the game to end the normal way, which is when the prosperity card is revealed, when 12 in a two-player game uh, deed cards have been taken or the poverty card when 12 debts have been taken we get to remove overlord workers when this happens and if we do manage to end the game the normal way and we have 160 points between us we win okay so that was the overlord's turn it's time for marty to have a choice so does he want to put out the journeyman the abbot or the squire oh straight away i'm gonna say the abbot let's let's have uh yeah let's have marty do this so He's going to move two spaces. He's going to go one, two on the main board there because he is going to do some uh, manuscript writing. Uh, so does he want to use the power of the traitor? No, he's not going to. Uh, does he want to do an action? Yes. Which one? He's going to write a manuscript. He's got one, two symbols, three, because he's got this ink here. Now, he isn't going to get to remove an overlord worker because there isn't one here yet, but it's going to get him this manuscript which can get him points later on uh, if he can get you know uh, multiple of the same color three of the same color will get you a permanent benefit as well as some points 
Uh, he gets a resource of his choice now. He's going to take an ink back so he can hopefully get another one. But when any player grabs a yellow manuscript, I get a gold. So it's made it a little bit easier for me to try and get in the castle later on. He can pay to buy that traitor. Is he going to... No, I don't think he's going to just yet. I think he's going to be a bit more virtuous than me. There hasn't been a collision. He draws back up to three cards, and that is it. Overlord is going to move three spaces to three, and he there is no Overlord worker there, so he gets to put one out. Okay, back to me. Card slides forward. What am I going to do? Now, I was thinking I could do a decent job of going over here and doing an action and removing one of his workers, but he protects all workers kind of in a line from where he is, even in the castle. So I'd have to go a long way to remove one of his workers. Try and put my own workers out there and do another build. I've got my thief that could help me. You know, I would have two. I could, do a, I could do a five build somewhere. Can't really get it boosted by the... I could buy a criminal over there. What if I try and build up some resources for when I am going to build? Because I'd like to do a really massive build that lets me have a permanent extra icon of uh, maybe just the building action. I'm going to play Luther, which means I'm going to move one space if I want to do some merchanting, which I think I do. I can get myself some ink and then maybe I want to get a manuscript because then I can give Marty some uh, stuff as well. Uh, so I get myself one of each resource. And then for t every two merchant symbols I want to spend, I can get myself an ink. Well, I've got three merchant symbols right there. You add to this with coins rather than other resources. So I can get two inks right there. I could spend another couple of coins to get another ink. But no, I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to leave it at that. Do I want to buy the Swindler for three money? Easy way of getting more ink, but probably better for Marty. I think he wants to be the main collector of them. That's going to be it for me. I did the merchant action, but there was no uh, worker there to remove just yet. I get my trader, and then the overlord goes. He moves one space. There is no worker. He puts out an overlord worker. So I'm going to try and build there. I don't think I'm going to quite have seven, unfortunately. So for Marty's turn, his abbot moves over. He's only got one, two potential symbols for manuscripting, so he's not going to be able to do that unless he paid like three here to boost with one of these criminals, but that's very expensive. I think he's going to go for some trading. Let's get his journeyman out. Because when his journeyman goes, he can discard a townsfolk and maybe get an effect and gain some uh, virtue as well, which neither of us have done just yet. Uh, so he's got four symbols. He needs to move two spaces. He's going to move one, two. Every two symbols gets him a gold. So he's going to get two gold right now to maybe do a castle action in the future, which he's got the squire. Does he want to pay for the swindler? It's expensive. No, I don't think he's going to. He's just going to carry on with another turn. The overlord moves a space. There's nobody there puts a worker out. Okay, so back to me. Move on. I've only got one merchant symbol now. I have still got my builder. So I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. I want seven to get one of these great ones out. But now even if I just do another merchant action, I could get some stone here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put my journeyman out. It does mean my labor is going to go though. But I can get enough symbols here. So let's... Oh, it moves me two spaces though. Oh, I don't want to move two spaces. I want to move one space. So... I'm going to have to put my trader out. That's going to be a bit more expensive for me. So trader, one space. Do some trading for some stone. Every two symbols is a stone. So I can get myself one. And I am going to pay a couple more coins. Yeah, I don't want to pay for an extra symbol. Pay a couple more coins to get another stone for the future. I've done a merchant action, which means an overlord worker can be returned back to him. Because if he runs out of workers and needs to put one out, we lose. I can spend symbols just to get coins while he's there, but I don't want to do that just yet. And then, that's it, isn't it? Do I want to buy this scoundrel? Gets me a stone for putting her out. Yes, I'm going to. I'm going to go a little bit more into the criminal underworld. And then draw back up. Oh, I need to discard a card, actually, for putting her in the deck. So I'm going to discard Journeyman, I think. So I need to shuffle. When you shuffle... If you have any criminals out, you gain a corruption. If you don't, you gain a virtue. I gain a virtue. There we go. Uh, I don't... We're not really gaining much of that yet, so we'll, we'll see how that goes and how long it's going to take for a collision to happen. Okay, and the last one, I get my new scoundrel. Okay. Overlord. One, two, three spaces because of the artist there. Nobody in this space. 
puts one of his workers out. Now, the Overlord next time will move two spaces. So does Marty want to merchant again to remove this worker so he won't get to do this extra thing? And then what it would be, he would dismiss this townsfolk and then get to put two more workers in this space. So he'd get rid of one and then put a worker out. So what if Marty does his lender over here? He moves one space. He can pay to move more. But he's not going to, uh, and he's not going to pay for me to use the swindler, but uh, he's got four symbols, so he can basically remove a card from his uh, from his hand or his deck. He's going to remove this laborer because I'm going to be doing the building, I think, which means he gets to put that worker back. He does. He still doesn't want to recruit the swindler. He draws back up, and there we go. Overlord moves one two into this place there is nobody he puts a worker back out for me the laborer leaves but has no effect and i want to try and do some building with a great big building action oh and if i just move one space <gasps> okay we want some more ink let's do this scoundrel get me an ink for putting her out but she is a criminal and so i need to gain a corruption so for doing building, I have one, and that's it. Uh, I can pay for the missionary. Have I moved a space? I haven't moved a space, have I? Because I just got all this brick. Oh, I get to move here. And I could pay to move there, but nobody's going to help me with building. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Brilliant. I'm spending a lot of stone to do a big build, and it's going to be one of these, which will let me have an extra action for building in the future. So do I want any resource or get some virtue? I think I might need some virtue. But no, I'm going to go for resource. And I'm going to go for stone because I've left myself with none now. I've done a building, which means that I can either remove a worker or put mine out. You can't have both. So if there's a worker there, I need to remove it if I've got the option to. There hasn't been... Oh, do I want to recruit the missionary? No. Has there been a collision? No. I draw a new card. Another scoundrel. How many did I buy? Oh, I start with the thief. And then the Overlord. Oh, maybe we should have thought about this. Oh, no, it's okay. One, two, three. Nobody there puts a worker out. Okay, so we know the Overlord's going to go there and get to... What's he going to get to do? Oh, he's going to advance this worker forward. Which isn't too bad. I think we can live with that. What, what can Marty do other than that? He could do a really big... Get to move one space. He could do another merchant action, get a load of coins for himself, get five coins for later. And get a swindler that gives him ink, which is good since he wants to be the ink guy. Uh, his abbot leaves, which does, it, does him no good. But then, and he could flip a, oh, he could flip a debt or get rid of someone. Yeah, he's going to do Judith. Now, this is a space where I am already. He could pay to move another space, which I think he's going to do to go to the ink space, and there's nobody out there, which means he could ensure that space a bit. He could still put one out there, and we, we, we're allowed uh, multiple workers out in a space. But I think that's going to be okay. So with five symbols, he's going to get... Oh, if he spends a coin, then he's got six symbols, which means three ink coming his way, which means he can uh, get a good manuscript action in the future. Does he want to recruit the swindler? Kind of expensive. People that don't really gel with our playstyle. He can't afford three, so no. Uh, he draws a new card, which is going to be the Friar. Oh, perfect for wanting to go and do some manuscripting. Uh, the Overlord goes, which means two spaces. There is already a worker there, so he dismisses the artist, which probably would have been good to recruit, actually. Uh, and that means she had this symbol, which means advance a worker. Advance there. If there had already been a worker there, we would advance there. If there'd already been one there, advance there. If there'd already been one there go to the middle, and we'd have lost. But this is early game, really, so uh, it just goes there. Okay, me. I've got a lot of ink. What do I want to do? So move along, nothing happens. I can get coins with a merchant action still, but I'd kind of be doing a weak merchant action. The Overlord's protecting this person. Even if I did a merchant action down there, they're being protected. If I move a couple of spaces and do a little build, I could put a worker out there. Where he's about, he's about to move there. So it would be great to move three spaces. And even if I just did a merchant action there, let's do that. One, two, th 
one, two, three spaces. I'm playing my financer, by the way. <laughs> They're just making it up. I can discard someone. Let's see. I'm sorry, thief. Discard you. Uh, and get two coins, which I'm pretty pleased about. Oh, if I did a build action, though, I have got an extra. One, two already. And with a build action, I could get a stone back. Yeah, I could pay the three to get a stone. Whenever I recruit someone, I get to discard someone. And let's, yeah, let's get some stone back. Stone comes straight back. I've put another building out. When I do a building, I can remove an overlord worker. Speaking of the overlord, one, two spaces comes to me. He's not a Viscount, by the way. Normally when Viscounts share a space, uh, they get to rearrange their cards on their player board. He's not a Viscount. He's an overlord. No worker there, so puts one out. So he's about to move two more and just put one out. So it's not too terrible. Marty. He, oh, his Ferrari came out and he was excited about that. Journeyman first. He gets to hire anyone from the board for free and gain a virtue. So let's give him that virtue. And the missionary, probably be the most beneficial. The traitor, if Marty wants to make the Overlord move a different number of spaces, but we don't. We want him to move two, because we know two's kind of safe. The missionary, I think. Yeah, gives him a, another manuscript symbol. Let's him discard a card now, which I think he will discard his thief. Try and be virtuous. But then who to play? Oh, he can play his friar. Play his friar. Get another virtue. And let's do some manuscripts. He's only got one symbol right now. Oh, he's moving two spaces. One, two. You know, if he pays a coin to move a third space, which he's going to do, it's three for this symbol. So he's got one on his player board, two, three with the inks. He's going to grab this manuscript, which lets him hire someone else for free. And he gets to, when he does manuscript, he gets to remove an overlord worker. Who does he want to hire now? Oh, he wants to do without the criminal element. The diplomat's probably better for me. Spending coins for castles. Let's see, the swindler gets ink, so let's go for the swindler. So that's all done. Does he want to hire the meddler? No. Oh, he's hired the swindler, so he needs to gain a corruption, unfortunately, for him. He doesn't want to hire the swindler. There hasn't been a collision. Draws back up. So he's got his financer and his trader. No one else to help him do manuscripts, but they are quite cheap at the moment. He could get any three still. Probably wishes he'd kept his uh, thief up now. Uh, so the overlord moved two, one, two, pops out a worker. For me, where's my four cards? I am going to, well, I've got an artisan there. Help me do some building. So the trader's gone, no real effect. You know, I aren't putting anyone out really that, I've got a discard effect. So I know the Overlord's going one, two, three. We're kind of safe from that. If I could just move one, I could remove him from there and get myself some stone, build up for some more building. You know how much I love building. The Artisan would kind of be better out there, though. This would just be getting one stone right now. I could pay a couple of coins for another. Yeah, let's. Oh, but he moves me three spaces. Uh, Lender, then. Lender, just move me one space. And then that is three symbols. Every two is a stone. So four symbols, six symbols get me three stone. And I have done a merchant action so I can remove an overlord worker from there. Oh, blue. Who's blue? Marty should get two coins for doing a blue uh, manuscript. There we go. Overlord, one, two, three. Nobody there puts out a worker. I need to draw back up, which I should have done first. Journeyman. And now it's time for Marty then. So discards the lender and can flip a debt or a deed. He'll flip a debt and gain an ink. <gasps> Ooh. And yes, he will. What does he want to put out then? He'll put out... Where's the Overlord going next, first of all? Two spaces. One, two. It's empty, so that's okay. Yeah, only doing a, mar only doing a merchant action. Marty gets to put one of his workers out. He only gets to remove by doing manuscripts. Yeah, he was going to do a manuscript, but he's changed his mind. He's going to put out his financer, discard a card. He's going to discard the trader. And he is going to move three spaces. One, two, three. Where's well, he gained two coins? I think he discarded, but didn't gain his two coins. 
gained his coins. He's doing a merchant action. He's got two symbols right now. Every two is a gold. He's going to spend those coins. So we get another couple of gold and get rid of this overlord worker. We don't want to focus on that too much because, you know, that's... Um, it's it's not necessarily earning you points, just doing merchants all the time. Uh, the Overlord moves two, one, two, and it's empty, so that's not too bad. Next time he's moving one, which is also empty. Oh, and do merchants. So if I just moved one and did a build now, I could put a worker out there. So this scoundrel leaves, no effect there. I'm going to put my artisan out there because I want him discarded as quick as possible. But one, two, three, four, five, six symbols. But that moves me three spaces though. Whereas, yes, let's do scoundrel. Scoundrel out there. Scoundrel gets me a stone, which means I have one, two. Oh, I need to gain a corruption because that's a criminal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could do another big one. Boost my manuscripting, maybe? I'm never going to be great at that though, am I? Boost my merchanting, I think. That's two extra merchanting. And then would I like to hire anyone or get rid... Oh, I need to move a space. Get a deed or get rid of someone. I think get a deed. I'm going to get a deed, which is a point. And yeah, it wouldn't be too bad if uh, the game ended by getting rid of those. Although I think that is the first one taken. I don't think we've been taking debts or deeds yet. Uh, so, oh, that build, though, costs me five, doesn't it? all of my stone. Don't forget to spend that. But you know, points for putting these out now, that's... Uh... Oh, that was a smaller building doing that one. I don't want to do that. I want to do the expensive one. Well, I could, I could save two stone and just do the cheaper one. Let's do castling then. While I can afford it. Because two of those, that's 13 points for doing that now. Overlord, just moving one and popping this out. Oh, and I did a build, didn't I? So I put my worker out there. Marty is headed for a great big action in the castle I think. We have two spaces with his squire. He is going to go one, two. And not the best reward but it's something. He is going to pay to use the patron's ability. So he discards someone from his deck. He will discard the thief. Yeah the thief. Uh, and then so he's got one from the card he just dismissed. Two symbols. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is fantastic because that lets him put out four workers in the castle. Now you are limited. You've got a fairly big worker pool, uh, but we've got to put them. We've got to have them available to put them out on the board as well. So he puts four workers in the castle in this section here. Now, if there are ever three of your workers in the castle, one goes this way, one goes this way. One goes forward, and that can chain and keep uh, all of these different things happening. Worker in there means he gets a stone and an ink. And the ink is probably going to come in handy. The stone eventually, he's got to build something, maybe. Does he want to recruit the gatekeeper? I... no, I don't think so. He's going to just draw back up. And then the overlord moves two spaces. Unfortunately, there is a worker there. So he dismisses this worker and is going to add two more here. Which means when there are three in one section, same as in the castle, one goes this way, one goes this way, one goes down. So yeah, Marty, it would be great if he could do a manuscript action down here, or the castle one. For my turn, move along, and what do I want to do? Artisan out there, and I would have three building symbols if I wanted to do a, sim uh, a build. One, two, three, could get rid of an Overlord's worker. Which actually would, wouldn't be too bad, because at the moment he's going to move. One, two, get rid of my worker. One, two, three, and I will have gotten rid of his worker. And I'm putting more buildings out, which is what I love. Uh, yes, Artisan. One, two, three spaces. I have one, two, three building symbols, no stone to spend. So it's going to have to be this building. But that's, that's nine points now extra. Uh, and I can either choose to flip a deed or a debt or get rid of a card entirely. I'm going to flip, flip a deed. It's worth three points now. And I did a build, so we remove that worker. Did I want to use any symbols? Do I want to recruit the gatekeeper? I don't think so. Are you the gatekeeper? 
I am going to draw, which means I need to shuffle. I do have a criminal out, so I gain a corruption. And my new card is a trader. Okay. Not too sure what I'm going to do. I, I, I can't do another little build because I haven't got any little buildings. Okay, we'll think about it. Maybe we could do a manuscript. Abbott, criminal. They work together, right? Marty was doing a manuscript, wasn't he? Let's... Oh, he's losing an Abbott, unfortunately. The Friar. And that was just an immediate ability. He could put the Abbott out. Yeah, why not? He's got a lot of ink. Two spaces. One, two. Now, doing a grey, he's got enough for this. He could get two virtue and cause a good collision. It would get me a stone. But if he... No, he's going to spend a gold. This is his last gold. To move an extra space. Because he can spend four. One, two, three, four. To grab this. Because he wants three of a kind. Because he can get the extra three points and the permanent extra castle symbol. And he also gets to remove a card. He's going to remove the... Ooh... He could just remove someone from the, from the top of his deck. No, he's going to remove the journeyman and gain a virtue. Does he want to recruit the deacon? Oh, no, he's got no coins. He does want to recruit the deacon so much. Sorry, Deaky. We can't do it. Oh, the missionaries come out, though. Okay, so more manuscripts in his future. He did yellow, which means I gain a gold, and the overlord is going to move one, two... And have I missed an Overlord turn? I think I've missed an Overlord turn. I think he should have done that last time. And then one, two, three. There's nothing there. He puts one out now. I think I've caught up there. Subtitles will put you right. Okay, for me, the lender's gone, which means I get to flip something. I wish I'd gained a debt. But, uh, oh, pick the other thing here. But, no, I've, I've gained another couple of points by flipping that deed, so it's not bad. Then... What am I going to do? I can't do any building. Maybe it's time for manuscripting, I think I was thinking. But there's no one. Oh, Marty's removed that worker. There's no one really to remove by manuscripting. But it's, it's got to be done at some point. Or do I just want to do some trading? Because I know he's about to go here. And I could get some stone, which I want. I like building. Yes. Yes. Trade, trade, trade. Journeyman. Because you do more symbols. Yes. Three, four symbols right now. Oh, I never did that, did I? Wish I'd done it now. Uh, so, four symbols. I've got to do some merchanting, which is two brick. I don't want to spend any coins. I've only got a couple. So, yes, remove your worker from there. Do I want to recruit the diplomat? No. Oh, maybe. Yes, yes, I'll recruit you for a coin. So I can rearrange my player board. And I can put the journeyman right there, so he will hopefully just activate straight away. And the artisan can go there, so he'll stay out longer. <gasps> can maybe do a good build next time. If I draw another build card, we'll see. So that's the end of my turn. Draw back up. Didn't get another build card, so I'm going to have one, two, three, four. Can't do a build still. Unless I'm going to be stood by someone. No, I don't think I am. Shame. Never mind. Oh, no. Lothair can give me a stone, so I can. Brilliant. Okay, that's all for next turn, though. Uh, you are going there, and there is no worker, so you're putting one out. Marty, I think, can manuscript again. The missionary. One, two, three. If he just did a little manuscript. How many spaces is that? One, two. <gasps> that gave him four coins, yeah. Oh, and it's another blue. Brilliant. One, two, three. Grab this blue manuscript, which is his second there for set collection as well. One, two, three, four. And when he does blue manuscripts, he gets two coins. Perfect. Now that doesn't help us with overlord workers and stuff. One, two, three, which is about to maybe hurt us, but we'll see. Oh, Marty should have gotten a, an ink for putting the missionary out. Brilliant. Okay, card drawn. Overlord activates one, two, three. He's knocked me over. There is already a worker here. He dismisses the meddler with a corruption symbol. It is going to be two workers on this side, which is unfortunate because one goes forward, one goes here, one goes here. So harder to remove as well when that happens. Next time he's coming here, which is safer for us. Okay, what do I want to do? Journeyman's getting discarded, which means I can hire anyone and get a virtue. Hire anyone. Hmm. 
Overseer is good. When you do the castle action, you can discard or remove someone. I would like the Deacon because I would like to gain a Virtue right now. So I want the Swindler, but I don't want a Corruption right now. It wouldn't be terrible, but it would lose me getting a Deed. I don't really want that. Let's get the Overseer. Maybe we'll pivot to doing a bit more uh, castle stuff. Uh, and I can rearrange my player board for that. I think it's rearranged how I would like it. We were doing a build, weren't we? Or can I? How many spaces would it be? One, two. To do a manuscript here and remove that. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. I'm going to do that. So one. So I need to move two spaces, which is fine. I'm moving one, two spaces. Then I have got one, two, three, four. Crosses, which means I can grab this manuscript, which gives me a stone and two virtue. So there's finally, like an hour in, <laughs> going to be a collision. Uh, so that is my action. I didn't want to use his ability because it wouldn't help me. I've only got one coin, so no, I couldn't. Uh, unfortunately, that's, this is going to be one less coin now, but I'm going to get... So for a collision, I get the stuff on the top. One coin and a deed. Everyone else gets the thing on the bottom. Uh, if anyone has got a criminal, they get a corruption. Marty hasn't got any criminals out, so he's fine. Oh, we need to remove this worker here because I just... Oh, I don't get... I don't remove them with manuscripts, though. I think it'll be okay. I don't think that was a waste. Marty's not going to be able to do a six. <gasps> was this terrible? Is this take back city time? I think it is, you know. Yeah, I'm not doing that. One. I'm going to stick with what I know. Lothair's going to come out and get me one of each resource. I'm going to move one space, and I'm going to do a building with... One, two, three, four, five. Or do I want the last seven? <gasps> Make it better to do manuscripts. Yeah, let's do it. Seven to go out there gets me a virtue. So there's still going to be a collision. And a stone for doing the two buildings either side of that symbol. I get to remove one of these. There has been a collision. I don't have no criminals though, so I don't benefit from that. I get two coins and a deed and a debt this time and i'm not hiring well i could hire that acolyte i'm not going to draw back up and i'm going to get a scoundrel and the overlord is going to go one two did we not work this out properly or has that card changed or something i don't think i worked it out properly he's gonna there's already a worker here so he's gonna discard which means two go on this side. Uh-oh. He's about to move three, though, which is safe. Okay, Marty. His squire leaves, nothing happens. He could... Oh, yes, he could put his swindler out. Oh, and because I was in the middle here, he gets to rearrange his player board if he wants to. That's the everyone else's ability. Uh, he doesn't want to. No, that's fine the way it is. Uh, he's going to put his Swindler out. He would like to rearrange it now, so the Swindler is there, so he can get knocked out uh, quicker and get the ink. So they're right, he needs to move three spaces. Oh, that's too many spaces, though. Yeah, he's not going to be able to get that manuscript just yet. And he's got no gold to do a castle action, which would also remove one of the Overlord's workers. Oh, wait a minute. I got a stone from doing that manuscript, didn't I? I wouldn't have been able to do one of these. I would have had to have chosen one of these. Everything else is the same. I would have had one extra stone because that was too cheaper. I think that's fixed now. Although he can actually, he's got the money. He can go one, two, three, pay an extra coin to go four, which is fine. And then he's got one, two, three, four inks. Get rid of you. Grab this. Uh, it's going to be a little bit bad for me, but not really. One, two virtue for himself. For that, gray means I get a stone. Did he want to use this one? No. Did he, does he want to buy it now? No. And then Collision, he gets a coin and three deeds. Here's where they start disappearing. They're all deeds, so they're all just one point, so I'll put them on top of each other. And then everyone else, if you've got a criminal or more, which I have, gain a debt. Oh dear. Hopefully can get them flipped. And then reset the corruption, draw back up. Uh, he has a criminal now, so on the reshuffle he gets a corruption. Then the Overlord is moving one, two, three. I am protecting us, so he removes my worker. Over to me, Scoundrel leaves, unfortunately. And what am I going to do? Let's see, the Overlord is going one there, but that's so far away from me. One, two, then pay one, two, three, four to get back up there. I can't even afford to stop whatever he's doing. And it's going to be putting a worker either side, which isn't going to be too terrible. 
and he's going to move one again, and that's probably going to be bad. Okay, we'll think about that another time. I could maybe do some building, but that's kind of... <laughs> I'm, I'm truly drying that up. But before my artisan leaves, maybe I want to try and do that. Let's see. I could... I'd want to move a couple of spaces to remove someone from here. Or just move one space and then my worker's out, which is kind of... Might work out better. Put the scoundrel out, which gets me an ink. And then I've got one, two, three, six for building. I would move one space there. And what would I get? A virtue and rearrange my player area, which I don't want. Or I could just get an ink, which I don't particularly want. Yeah, let's get the ink. Uh, move. One, yes. Do a build for five. One, two, three, four, five. And let's put one out that... I could, of course, just be merchanting for a load of coins or something. But no, I'll... Oh, I could flip next time. <gasps> I want to be able to move an extra space for free or to be able to use... To dismiss the townsfolk for one all the time. I think that one. And I want to gain an ink. Oh, I better do some manuscripts. It's building up. Then... Oh, I gain a corruption because I put a criminal out. No collisions. I don't want to recruit the benefactor. Draw back up. And I've got a thief. Overlord. One space. There's already someone out there. Dismisses. And that symbol means a worker either side. Oh, and I get to put a worker out there. Marty. Abbott leaves. And what's he going to do? Put another criminal out. The overlord's going to go there. And then advance one forward. Can't really do anything about that yet. But what he could do is, though... We know that the overlord's going to go there, and then one, two, three. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's going to go for Lender. Just one space. And then do a merchant action to remove one of the workers. So he's got two, three, four right there. So he can flip a deed or a debt. He's only got deeds that can be flipped. That removes that. Does he want to pay four more coins? To flip another deed. He could buy the benefactor. Give him a virtue. Oh, he, which could help you get in the castle, actually. Yeah, do you know what? He's going to spend all his money. Four more to flip another deed. And then two more to recruit that benefactor. And get a virtue for doing it. Overlord moves a space. And there is already an overlord worker there, so dismisses. And he doesn't put any more out, thankfully, but he does just advance this one. So hopefully Marty can get over there soon and do some uh, manuscripting. For me, my artisan leaves and I can flip a deed or a debt. I will flip a debt and gain myself a stone, because I don't have a stone. And then we want to go here, don't we? Because then there won't be any overlord. Oh, he's, he's... what? This is two. Oh, he dismissed it, didn't he? So he's coming here, so that's okay. And then he'll move one, though. Unless I recruit this defender. I could do a building action here and still remove the thing. One. What would a build action be to me? Put a thief out, which would be another two corruption. One, two, three, four, five. That's fine. And I could build here, grab a deed. Which is another point. And a virtue. Remove that, and I do want to recruit that defender, which lets me... Oh, that would make me shuffle my deck, which would give me a corruption, because I've got criminals. No, that's not them. Overlord moves one, two, removes my worker. Marty loses his missionary. They move, and what does he want to do? He can put his own workers out by doing merchant actions. He could build up a load of coins on the next space. They can do that anyway with what the next space is. He needs ink. It's the spaces to get ink. We've just gone past one. Is there another one? It's a long way away. Yeah, he's going to do some trading. Why not? And so he's going to move three spaces. He's going to move one, two, three. And he's got four. Oh, he gets. He can discard a card. He'll discard this thief and gets two coins. He's got four symbols. Do you want to move another one and get gold instead? A building is going to be okay. He has to remove this worker, though. And four symbols means two stone. Overlord 
Oh, does he want to recruit? No, can't afford. Uh, Overlord moves. Nobody there. Puts out a worker. And we know he's going there, which we're kind of safe from. But if I can do a building, which I can't, because my only building I can do is seven. If I could do a building, I could put a worker out there. But I can't, so I won't. Uh, my worker goes... What am I going to pack? I've got criminals, so I'm kind of open to what I can do. What would I have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could put loads of people out in the castle. I unfortunately can't go to this space and get to flip debts for it. But what about... Have I got a two on the abbot? Yes, I have. One, two. I've got one, two, three symbols already. Don't need to spend anything. Can grab this. Maybe I collect black manuscripts. I can flip this debt now and grab myself a resource. I will grab myself a stone. Always what I want. And whenever anyone grabs a black manuscript, Marty gets an ink. Do I want a recruit or anything like that? I don't think so. There hasn't been a collision. Draw back up. It's going to be my laborer. And Overlord moves one. Nothing there. So puts his worker out. He's about to move three. So can Marty do something about that, please? He's going to have to. Uh, Swindler gains him two ink, which is okay. But we're going to have to wait on getting any ink. Oh, he, he should have uh, some cards, shouldn't he? Uh, he should have some choice. But he's going he's gonna to do the trader anyway. He's going to move one space. And then he's going to pay to move an extra space. So he can pay to remove cards from his deck. But while the trade is out there, he can do it to get coins instead. So he's just going to get himself four coins. One, two, three, four coins. Remove this worker. Overlord goes. Oh, does he want to recruit? The swindler? I don't think so. Uh, he draws back up. Overlord goes one, two, three. Nobody there puts a worker out. And we know he's going one, two, three again. Wait, there is someone. And he's going to put three out and they're going to go forward. Oh, no. I need to try and get that manuscript as well. Because he's going to move workers forward and then there's already a worker there, so it'll go forward onto the castle. Okay, Scoundrel goes. I haven't got anything that can help me do manuscripts. Or I go up there and do some trading, which gets me stone, which I do like. I can do that, can't I? One, two, three, four spaces I'll need to go. So I'll need to pay to move an extra one. But I can discard a card. I will discard my trader and get two coins. I have two, four trading symbols, so I can have two stone. Yeah, I'm not going to pay. I'm going to hang on to my money. Although, actually, I could just pay one coin to dismiss the jeweler because that's two symbols and I only ever pay one, remember? So another stone, dismiss him and gets me a virtue. Oh, it does mean, though, that he's going to come here where there's nobody, but then just go one further to where there is something. The turn after that, but I don't want this clergyman. So I think that'll be okay. I don't know if I can make it down there. And I don't remove markers by grabbing those manuscripts, unfortunately. Whereas I want to collect the black ones. I had a criminal when I shuffled, so I gain a corruption. And get a couple of new cards. And then, Overlord is moving three, two, three. Puts a worker out, nothing else. Marty gets to flip a deed or a debt. It's going to have to be a deed, hasn't really got any debts. And then he is putting out his friar... Immediately get a virtue. And he can go two spaces. He isn't going to race over here. And keep it, although it is good, you know, it's 16 points for each set of four different colours you've got. But you also want like colours to uh, get those bonuses as well. And you're making multiple sets, so it's it's all good. Yeah, he's going to do three. So one, two, three. So grab this manuscript. Whenever anyone gets a grey, that gets me a stone. And it gets Marty, flip a deed or a debt. Hey, all these deeds are flipped. He's going to have to gain something now. Uh, but yeah, can't remove anything because there's nothing there. No collision just yet. Draws back up. He has not got a criminal, so he gains a virtue. Overlord is moving one. There's already a worker there, so he dismisses the clergyman and puts one out either side of where he is. He's about to move one again. So I need to get ahead of him. Maybe do a build this time, though. For me, 
I gain a debt and a coin for my thief being dismissed. That's okay, if we can make both things happen, that wouldn't be too bad. If poverty gets flipped by all the debt cards being taken, every flipped deed card is worth two points. If the prosperity card gets revealed from all the deeds being taken, and there are only like five, six left there, uh, every flipped debt is worth an extra point. So you'd like both of them to happen, really, and they each end the game. So am I thinking of doing some building? So I could pop my labourer out. I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, not enough symbols. Can't do any building right now. Gonna have to do some trading. I want to get rid of a worker from there, really, don't I? But I don't want ink. What I want to do, scoundrel out, get a corruption, get an ink. I want to make this different so Marty can maybe complete one of his sets. He's got two of three different colours, and I'll give him an ink for doing this as well. Uh, I'll get my second black manuscript, get a deed, which is another point. Uh, that's going to cost me one, two, one ink. Because now a grey has been revealed, which gives Marty a point for every building symbol on his cards and his board. So surely much better for me to get. Okay, I don't remove anyone for doing that. Mar uh, the Overlord moves one and gets to put two extra workers on here, which puts one here, one here, and one forward. Uh, Marty, get on that, please. He's going to move three next time, though, which is safer. I need to draw a card. Marty needs to go. He needs to get some ink, and he needs... Oh, he wants to get a debt. Yeah, he's going to put his thief out, which gets him a corruption. Just hang on a sec. I need to do a collision. I do have a criminal. I get two debts, and then everyone that doesn't have a criminal... Marty didn't have a criminal when I did that, so he gains a virtue. And then that resets. Need to get them flipped. But we're getting... We're evening out, I think, the debts and the deeds. So Marty gains a corruption for this, so he's going to be gaining a deed. Right, so then... He's going to go trading, I think. He wants some ink. Yeah, that just moves in one space. He's doing some trading, so that can go back. Opal has not got that many workers hanging about. There's a lot on the board. Uh, so, Marty's got two symbols. He can dismiss this worker, which would make him shuffle, which makes him gain a corruption, unfortunately. But that's okay, that's better. That gives him three more symbols. So he's got five symbols, spends a coin for six symbols. So that's three of these, which means he can afford that manuscript. Yeah. So collision happened, he gets two coins and a deed and a debt, and then draw back up. Okay. Probably going to be doing the squire because he wants to move two spaces, but yeah, hasn't really gained himself any gold. And I can rearrange things on my player board. I'm not bothered, though. Do I want manuscripts to stay up? I could get a third. Maybe I do. Yeah, I could, I could get that now. And then I'd have a set. Brilliant. Go for it. Thanks, Marty. So his thing's reset. Overlord goes one, two, three, which is empty. Puts a worker out. I go. I want to move one space. So I want a trader or Lothair to go out. I will do Lothair because he gets me one of each resource, which is always lovely. So for manus I'm moving one space. For manuscripts, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six symbols. I'm going to do this. So a point for every flip debt, which again, Marty's got more of those than me, but hopefully I can sort that out. It's my third black manuscript though. So that gets me this card, which means uh, I get an extra clergy symbol whenever I'm doing that. I don't think I want to recruit the woodcutter. Maybe Marty should, if he's going to be getting points for recruiting these cards. Uh, I am just, just just drawing, and then Overlord's moving one, two, three. There's already a card there. Uh, Virtue means uh, anti-clockwise gets two, which means there's three... Oh means there's three, you there, you there, you forward, you there, you there, you forward, there's already one there, skips straight to there. Nothing happens yet, but next time it would skip straight to here. Time after that, skip straight to there. You can, if you overload the, ca if you overload the castle yourself, you can kick other players' things out. Maybe that's what I need to do on my next turn. Marty, trader goes, that doesn't matter. What does he want to do? Overlord is going to be going here, which is safe. I think he was going to move two, wasn't he? 
It's going to move two, one, two, and grab this manuscript. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I think he should have another ink, shouldn't he, from when I just got that black manuscript again. Um, gets rid of this worker, grabs this, which is his third, which means he gets an extra build symbol if he ever does a building. Does he want to... Oh, he could have paid a coin, actually, to dismiss, which would discard a card from his hand. He doesn't want to discard Judith. Um, yeah, discard a card from his hand, because that would let him keep an ink. And does he want to recruit the patron? No. Overlord goes one space, it's empty, is there. Unfortunately, that's going to cause problems. She's going to advance one person, though, and then move three spaces to problems. Problems, problems, problems. Well, if Morty goes here and can manuscript again, well, he doesn't want another grey. He can manuscript again, though, which is the important part. Can I move two and do some castling? Yes, I think I can. So Abbott's going. You over here. Let's see. Doing a build would be nice as well. And flipping debts, but we're not quite there yet. I could pay three and come right back around. And get to flip a load of things. Well, I'd only get to flip one thing, I think. Let's see, he's going there and I can't do anything about that. Unless I get rid of this card, but that just might be a two and we'd be in the same situation. He's going to go three, which is there, and I can't really do anything about that on my own. Unless I can get four symbols. I could probably easily get four symbols, couldn't I? Put my scoundrel out. Corruption. Get a stone. That'd be one space. I can go up here, can't I? Yes. For four symbols, one, two, three, four, five. Flip. Get a resource. I will pick... I don't need any more stone, do I? I will pick gold for the castle. So if I pay three more coins, which I will, I could flip another one. Hopefully these are going to be worth loads of points and I'll gain another gold. And then we remove that because I've done some trading. Overlord moves one, discards. The X means he advances one forward. Let's so move three. So if Marty can get rid of this, that's going to be fine. Oh, did I want to recruit stuff? No, Marty wants to recruit that one. I did need to draw a card, which I didn't do. Marty should have cards in his hand. Although I think Judith is going out. Although the abbot, if he wants to do manuscripts, the abbot's going to be better. But he wants different... He wants to remove these workers, but he wants different... Oh, he could get... This is another grey. Black would be nice to be the last one of the set, but he's already on this space. A point for every two manuscripts would be great for him as well. Or a point for every cross. He's surely got a few of them. But I think we're trying to prevent this from happening. He wants to move two spaces, and he wants to do some trading, so perfect. He's got three trade symbols, so a coin gives him four. It let's him flip a deed or a debt and get rid of this. He will flip the debt and get himself, sorry Marty, an ink. Does he want to recruit? Yes, it's worth another point, and maybe he'll do some building. And then he gets to rearrange his player board, and he's happy with how it is. But he can use trader symbols as... Uh, as royal symbols as the castle. Ooh, he needs to draw up. Overlord, one, two, three. No one here puts one out. Me, I lose the scoundrel. Nothing happens. I want to go to the castle, don't I? He's going to move three spaces. I could do a building. I would just get rid of a worker, though, which I don't really care about. Or I could do one there and get to flip another debt. Let's do, let's, let's do castle. We can build later. Castle. One, two. Get me gold for going here. Got three symbols. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I can put four workers out. Yeah, let's do that. Because I can do there later. One, two, three, four. There are three. So one here, one here, one here. Get myself a gold or move someone to the left or right. Oh, perfect. I can move this one here. And then at the end of your movements, if there are any sections with three or more workers in them, you have to bump until there's only three left. So I will choose. There's no benefit for... Usually players get a little benefit when they're bumped. So I could have bumped Marty and he could have gained two coins. But then we would still have had the problem of the Overlord being in there. So I think that's decent. And you get points for having workers in here as well. Overlord's moving three. 
nobody in there. Puts a worker out. I need to draw a card. Did I want to? I could have paid a coin actually and saved a gold by doing him, and I could have discarded, say, the trader that I'm not going to use. So, Overlord's moving three. Can Marty get rid of that worker? Probably not. Thief's going, which means he gains a debt and a coin. I think he needs to grab a manuscript. One, one, two spaces. One, two, three, four, five. This is going to complete a set for him. He's got all four colours now, so that's gone from nine to 16 points. A point for every clergy symbol that he's got. He could have kept an ink and spent a coin to, to dismiss him. And that would shuffle his deck and he's got no criminals, so he would get a virtue. He gets an ink whenever someone gets a black manuscript. Unfortunately, Perfect Worker is worth two points to him. He gets a point for each of these symbols, but he's only got one gold left. So not uh, one coin left. So that's not happening just yet. Overlord, two, three. Dismiss. Put a worker out either side. He's running out of workers. And he's about to move two to a terrible space. We want him to move three, really. Let's see. It's not too awful, though, because he hasn't got workers in the castle as much. Well, they could easily, of course. Let's see, I can pay money to get castle symbols, and I would have another one from here. Two, three, four. Put four more workers out. How many would that move me? One. I want to pay to move another one. And I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't want to pay coins to have more. That lets me put four of these out at once. One, two, three, four. So one this way, one this way, one forward gets me a stone and an ink. And then this one's got three in it. So this way. This way forward, get two virtue. No sections with more than three in. Oh, I could have spent a coin. Maybe it'd be a different number. Yeah. Yeah, instead of spending one of those gold, I'll spend one coin to dismiss him. Oh, three's better. Yes, three's empty. And that gets me another virtue, because that was on him. Brilliant. So one, two, three is empty. I couldn't recruit him even if I wanted to. So he puts a worker out. He's only got two workers left there. We've got to get workers back. One, two, three is bad. So can Marty... He's so far away from all of that. He can't get up here and remove workers from here. What would happen? One would already be out, so he would put two workers out, which would be okay. He wouldn't run out just yet. He could just do some trading and, yeah, get... Lender out there, hopefully that'll go out. Or he could do some castle with two of these symbols. Two... No, it wouldn't help, he hasn't got any gold. Uh, so, that just lets him move one space. Let's see the... This is anti-clockwise, so he'd want to go back a space, which he can't do. He could put out his missionary and get an ink. And that lets him move two. He doesn't want to move two then. Or he could just move one and just put one person out. It would still remove this worker, and he would put one out, which isn't great. But it's something. He can get one, two of those symbols out with those cards. Great if he had anything else, any, any other gold to do. But I think that's it for now. Overlord, one, two, three. Discards this to put two anti-clockwise, which is there. There's three. <gasps> so there, there, there. There, there, there. He's going to go two, which is really bad. He puts two more out and there can't be. I have to get there. Or I just need to make sure that he can put a... that there are workers to put out. Scoundrel goes away. The yeah, artisan's going out. One, two, three. Is that what I want to do? I think so. I'm going to build to remove a worker. And it's going to have to be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can go there, get me a virtue, and rearrange my things. I want you over here because I don't need to build anymore, and I would like it to be knocked off to get to flip something. There is 
I don't want to recruit or anything like that. There is a collision, which I don't have any criminals, so I can gain a virtue, which gets me a coin and two deeds. And then Overlord is going one, two. There is a worker. Oh, no. That, that already had three in it. I don't know from when, but that already had three in. Uh, there is a worker, so discard and two clockwise, which is empty now. Okay, so the, the already bad thing had happened. But next time, he's going to go one, two, trigger that, which is just move someone forward, which is put someone in the castle. So can Marty do clergy? I think so. Okay, we might be able to calm down a bit. <laughs> I don't know if he's got the resources to really make this effective. He can put his missionary out, which gets him an ink. That moves in two spaces, though. He doesn't want to move two spaces. He can move one, two, three. Okay, it's going to cost him a coin. But then he's got two, four clergy symbols. Gives him... Oh, did he have a criminal? He didn't have a criminal, so not, not affected by my thing. He gets two virtue, and that's his third yellow. So another three points and another symbol, another permanent symbol. Or oh, permanent roll symbol could be great. No collision yet. Draws back up. Overlord. Oh. Thing put back. One, two. Discards and advances someone. Which, lucky there's no one in there now. It's going to move three, which is empty, so we're safe. And then three, which is empty, so we're safe. And then two, which is bad. Okay, can we try and end the game? Artisan goes. I'm going to flip my debt so that I can get a gold. And then can we get some people in the castle? This moves me three spaces, which isn't ideal. I'm not removing workers anyway, though, am I? Moving three spaces, I would have three, four, six. So I could put three out. <clears throat> oh, no, that would be good. One, two, three. And I get to remove a card or discard a card when I do this. So remove the journeyman. And I've got three, four... Five, so I get to put three workers out, put them there. So I've got three in this section. So one goes over there, one goes over there, one goes forward, and I get two virtue for that. I've got three in this section now. One comes back, one goes there, one goes forward, and I get a stone and an ink. I need to shuffle. I haven't got any criminals out, so I gain a virtue. Although, really, I would like a lot of debts. Overlord, one, two, three, nobody there. Puts a worker out. Marty needs to remove a worker. One, two, three, we're safe, aren't we? But then, one, two. And that's going to be discarding, put two workers out. Has to remove a worker with an action. His abbot's going. So he can put the swindler out, which gets him a corruption. That's going to let him put one person out again. One, two, three. It does let him put a worker back and put one of his workers out, which means there's four in there, so he can get rid of the overlords. So we're in kind of damage control mode. Not doing anything. He's got no money, so not recruiting any people or anything like that. Overlord goes one, two, three. There's no one there, so puts a worker out. One, two is bad. It's that, so he would try and put two workers out. For me, Squire is gone. Let's see, with four... Oh, I've got no more. I probably want to do something merchanty just to get... I could pay two coins to get someone extra in the castle, but I need to remove workers from these spaces. So he's going to go here and put two workers here, which is going to advance loads of things. I could try moving up one space and getting rid of this card, but we're just kind of at the mercy of, what, of what's underneath. Can I just move one space? Yes. And the lender can go out, which might help me out later. I've got three, five trading symbols. It just lets me get rid of cards, though. But I need to be in this section, don't I? Pay a coin to get rid of this, which gives me a virtue. And then underneath is two still as well. But he's doing something different. He's just advancing. Oh, that is better. <sighs> okay. So what? I've got one, two, three, four, six symbols. I can get rid of two. I can get rid of one of his workers. And I can remove two cards from my deck. Well, I don't need someone that helps me build. Sorry, trader. I don't want you. I can't afford to recruit her. I 
haven't caused a collision, I need to draw three cards and wonder what I'm going to do next time. Overlord 1-2 discards this, advances this worker. Because even when we finish the game, we get one more turn each with the Overlord going afterwards and the game can still end prematurely without us getting to score if he runs out of workers or gets to the middle. So next time, one, two, three. He's going to do that and try and put two there. So it would be great if I could remove that. And just a different symbol again might really help us out. So if I can move three spaces, I would just get stone, which I don't need. The diplomat's going, which doesn't change anything for me. Oh, it's Marty's turn, isn't it? I've just been. Marty. Lender goes, which does help him. He can flip a debt and get an ink. And then on his turn, Marty is playing the woodcutter, which he needs to because he needs to do a castle action. He's got... Because he needs to be able to move, basically. He's got two symbols, so he's only going to be able to put one person out there. But he does get to remove that one. And then he'll remove one of mine, I suppose, in case I can use the two money I'll get. From someone being bumped from tier one. Overlord. One, two, three. This is terrible. Two clockwise, which means one, one there, one, one there. That's not too terrible. But he's going to move one, two, three, which then he puts one forward. But that's no people going out, so that's okay. Right. He's there. My turn. Diplomat goes away, doesn't matter. What do I need to do? I need to end the game. I need to get some virtue. How can I get some virtue? I don't think I really can. The artisan lets me flip, but only when he's gone. What about getting people in the castle? I would have one, two, three symbols, which is two people. It's not enough. Oh, the... The Overlord's going to kick us out, isn't he? He kicks one of each player out, and we get nothing for it. How many workers do I need to get out? Does this work? Three to get two workers out. I think this might work. One, two, three, and then I pay one, two, three. I don't need to do that even. I can pay two, and then I have one, two... Three symbols, which lets me put two people out, which means I have more than three. So one there, one there, one there. Oh no, I do. I absolutely want to go there. Pay the last coin. We put two up here. So I'll have three. One goes that side, one goes that side, one goes up. Gives me two virtue, which gives me three here. So one goes forward, gets me one of anything. I'll take gold in case I can do it again. And then I have three here, so one here, one here, one there. And I can move one to the left or right. I will move one from here to the left. And then I get two virtue again, but I can't do anything with that. And go in the middle again. I'll take a gold again. So these are worth points as well. Yeah. I think that's good. So I need a card. Am I doing anything with this card? No, I've got no money. Overlord. One, two, three. It's an X, so it puts someone forward. There's always someone there, so they go there. Next, they're going one, two, three, and then putting one either side, which wouldn't be which would be okay if Marty gets someone out. Oh, I need a, a, a thing. A collision's happened. I don't have a worker, so I get a virtue, but I'm already really virtuous. Uh, so I get three deeds. I have outdeeded the entire game. So we finished the current round. I was the first player. Oh, and everyone else who had a corruption gets a debt. But I wonder if we can... I don't think between us we can gain four debts. Marty's missionary goes. He could get two here and gain another debt by going there. They are lost points though, aren't they? But it makes flipped deeds worth two points more. I don't know if it balances out and is worth it. Marty. 
He's going there and putting workers out either side. Marty needs to get rid of a worker. He's got a thief. So he would have two. Oh, he can go to the. So he would have three at the castle. He could put a couple in the castle. Ooh. So he would have two, three, just three in the castle, which is two of his workers. But what that would do is he gets rid of that one for doing the action there. He gets rid of this one because there's more than three there. And he'll kick out, hmm. He'll kick out one of mine. No, anyway, he'll kick out one of his own to give himself two coins. Oh, I've got no coins. Yeah, he'll kick out one of mine. Just thinking, leave them in there in case I get to put more in, but... No, it'll be better for me to have the coins, I think. Oh, and Marty should get two more corruption. So, has caused a collision. That's two coins to him. And a deed and a debt. So that should be flipped, actually, to show us. Uh, all flipped debts are worth a point. And I can rearrange my player board, so I'll put my lender here, which is great because it's my last turn. Overlord, one, two, three. Discard you. Put one out either side, which doesn't cause anyone to advance. And then finally, he's going to go one, put one out either side. That isn't going to cause us to lose the game. We just need to make sure on my turn that we... that I bring a worker back. So I might have to just do a merchant action. So Conan O'Brien doesn't ruin everything. Because I can't do a building action. I've got no buildings. So for my turn, Lender's going away. So I will flip a debt to gain something, but I don't think resources are worth anything. Or, even better, I just go up here. What's got one on it? This is my last action, isn't it? Gaining a card wouldn't help me do anything. I want to just do some trading. So I've got... That gains me a corruption. I've got three trading symbols. Three lets me get rid of a card. I don't really mind. But mainly, I get rid of this, and so the Overlord's going to come in here and not do anything. I think, although it's points town, we've got to make sure that the game keeps going. So, no collision. I haven't been discarding cards when I've been recruiting people, have I? Really forgotten that. Overlord comes here, puts a worker out, but doesn't do all that advancing malarkey. And so finally is going to move one space and try and put two workers back. So whatever Marty does, he oh he gets two inks now, so he's probably gonna get a manuscript. Can he get a manuscript from somewhere? And get a manuscript. Oh, they should be reset. And a virtue. Can he get a manuscript from somewhere that will put a worker back? He can move two for free. What's going to help him out the most? Virtue doesn't really matter. He can pay a coin to move another space. And actually, pay another coin to move another space. Because I don't think coins are worth anything either. This is surely the most points for him. A point for every two manuscripts he's got, and it's another black, so it completes another set. It would have been great to get the third blue one, but that gives... so that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gets him an ink back, because someone's done a black manuscript. Let's an Overlord worker get put back, and then the Overlord goes... He moves one, discards this, puts two workers out. Is it clockwise? It's clockwise, this one, isn't it? Clockwise. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, skip straight to the second tier now, but that's okay, it's not the first tier, which means the game has ended. We didn't manage to get the uh, debts to run out, but the game has ended. Have we scored 160 points? For that, we need to go to my phone. Well, we don't need to, but I'd like to. Uh, and have a look at the Garfield Games Companion app. So it's uh, me and Marty, Bertha and Therese, as we like to be called. 
Uh, so constructed buildings. Marty didn't construct a single one. I, on the other hand, constructed uh, 36, 45 points worth. Uh, Marty's birther, isn't he? Next up. Points for each equal to your tier in the castle. So Marty gets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Not too bad. And then I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 19. Oh, and I need this card for having majority in the middle. 19. Transcribed manuscripts. So sets, I get a point per set because I only got one colour. And I don't have any that... Oh, I did have uh, bonus points. So three points plus one for every flipped deed, which is two. So five points for me. And then Marty, let's see, in terms of sets, he's got two complete sets. He's got two blues. Yeah, he's got two complete sets, so that's 32. And then two sets with two in each, so that's four points each. So 32 plus eight is 40. Plus any specific points. So plus, let's make sure I've got all of these out. So let's have a look at how many how many hammer symbols did he get? One, two, three, three. Point per clergy symbol. One, two, three. Again. And a point for every two manuscripts. One, two. Three, four, five points there. There's where Marty's points went. Castle leader and cleric bonus cards. I got the clergy bonus and the castle, which is eight points. And Marty got these two cleric bonuses for six points. Next, unpaid debts. This might hurt us. Minus, only minus two for me. And then for Marty, two, four, six, eight. Acquired and approved deeds. Okay, we haven't put the positives on yet. Because Marty approved loads of these, didn't he? Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen for Marty. I think we might have done it. And then for me, three, six. There's none underneath there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. For me as well. I just got loads that I didn't uh, pump up. And then the poverty card, we didn't reveal. We revealed the prosperity card, which means a point for every flipped debt. So one, two, three, four, five for me. And just the one for Marty. And the final scores. So we need 80 each, basically, don't we? So I've got 94, 167. I think, which is just, you know, I've done it, but this is easy difficulty and only just. Yeah, these, uh, these co-op variants are very, very tricky. So there we go. That is Viscounts of the West Kingdom in its co-op form. Actually, I think, I think this is my favourite of the things, but that's for first impression. Uh, my favourite of the co-op three. Uh, this is, uh, there's going to be a first impressions video. If you'd like to know what I think about it, uh, then you can click on that in the description now or uh, at the end of the screen in a second. I've done hundreds of playthroughs on this channel, including loads of other West Kingdom games uh, in various forms. Check them out if you'd like to. I am going to stop talking for a bit now, though. It's been a long film. Bye, everyone.